Here's how you can create your own multi-action stream deck button to stop trolls and hate raids. So one of the first things we want to do is open our stream deck. You're gonna need a stream deck, obviously. Let me just show you what I'm talking about right here. So we have a multi-action button. When we press this button, what's gonna happen is it's gonna put your chat into follower only mode. It's followers 10. So people are going to have to follow you for at least 10 minutes. So that's gonna be better than just regular follower mode because you also have follow bots to deal with as well. The other action we're gonna do is we're gonna hide our alert box, of course. So you don't have to worry about alerts going off if, if this is a type of raid where they're following you a lot or spamming other things. I'm gonna delete this and we'll recreate it scratch so you can get an idea so you open your stream deck application this does assume that you've already been using your stream deck you have it installed you have twitch authenticated with it and i've already been using that and obs studio so first things first we're going to right click on any blank area where you have a key that you're not using we're going to create multi-action after we create multi-action we'll click that to make sure it's highlighted and this is where we'll start dragging actions over. But one of the actions we want is we want it to hide a source. Now the source we're gonna hide is our alert box source. Now in this demonstration, we can do whatever. So what you'll do is your default collection or whatever you have your OBS collection, it should pick up whatever you're using now that should already be set. Scene, if you use a shared source per scene, you probably want this in your main scene. Let's say you have your main scene and let's say you have whichever overlay has your alerts. Now this is going to be ideal if you have your alerts separated into their own source, their browser source or where they are the only thing that's in that browser source. You don't have to do that. Just know that this is going to disable that and turn that off for the duration of this command. So let's pick YT main because that's the scene I'm on right now. And let's just pick a source from here and let's say we'll do the social source right here so i'm going to select that now in here we want this to deactivate that source whenever we press that button so we'll select deactivate and that's what happened and we can go ahead and test this and if you'll watch this source right here whenever i press the stream that button i'm going to do that right now and it disabled it turned it off so we can just click that again whenever we want to re-enable that. So we'll pretend that's your alert box source. Whenever you do that, your alerts will stop going off. Even if they're in the middle of it, you know, it'll shut them up. The so next thing we want to do, which is another big one, we want to go to the Twitch section. Remember, you need to have your Stream Deck Twitch application authenticated to Twitch already. We'll drag this over here. And the command we want account is probably just going to be either your moderator bot account or just the streamer account is fine and the only message we need is forward slash followers that's plural space 10 and once we do that that's done so i can press this button again and you can test it on the fly and you'll notice what happened is it disabled that browser source which we're going to say was our alerts and also states in your chat right here like hey enable 10 minute followers only mode again so better than just regular follower only mode even if people were to click on follow they still can't talk for 10 minutes so that's great if you want to create another button you can just go back here and you can click another box you'll go through those same steps we can name this we can name this whatever you want i'm I named this one no hate whatever and you can create another button that is exactly like that but just undoes all that so if we wanted to we could right click create another multi-action go in here and then we'll just create the the command to redo this we can go ahead it doesn't matter what order that we do this in add a chat message and we don't have to even bother titling it and we can do followers off forward slash followers off and then we can also even go to our our obs drag source over here we can go back to the proper scene 
and socials for the for this example now if you do that now we have two buttons you have one that undoes everything that it does so whenever i press this button you'll notice callers only mode is now disabled and then the social alerts are also re-enabled so you're back where you started but one other thing i recommend you do on your channel is you can go to your stream manager right here at your dashboard and once you're in there you go to settings and then go to moderation and when you're here you want to scroll down to email verification and in most cases i've seen this turned off i've had that enabled for quite a while and i haven't noticed any negative side effects all this means is anyone that would like to send messages to your chat room must first verify their email address now in a lot of cases these huge amounts of bots are probably not going to have their own email accounts linked to twitch on may there's no guarantee if nothing else this will also help dissuade trolls that try to recreate accounts and come back they can still do that they can go find another generic email address but what we're doing is we're adding multiple layers to make this more monotonous to them and more work for them to have to go through to do that so i highly recommend you turn that on i haven't had anybody in my community that's had issues with that i mean anyone that does i can easily go create an email address you know and link it to their twitch it's not that big a deal it doesn't even have to be their main one that they use it's not that big of a deal i highly recommend you turn this on it's for your own protection it's for their protection but what i'm going to do next i want to show you we had spoken earlier about having your alerts as a separate object for this to work best that way you're not disabling all of your overlays you can just disable the alert overlay the alert section only so what we'll do is we'll go into my overlays for example and let's say you have for you this is for stream elements that's the only thing i'll be able to cover to show you in this case so you should be if you use stream elements you're probably familiar with this and if you don't already know you can go to your alert box let's say you already have your overlay you don't want to have to redo your alerts and you don't have to you can go into your main overlay that has everything if that's how you happen to have done it highlight whichever one is your alert box after you do that you can click this icon right here that will duplicate it duplicate where would you like to duplicate this widget to you can duplicate it to other overlays now you can go ahead and have another overlay just an empty overlay created you can select which one and it will put it on to that one and when it does that overlay object will have all it's an exact copy it will have your exact settings and everything that you need so then you'll just go and you'll add that as another browser source and after you've tested that and make sure that works then you can go back in here and you can go ahead and disable or go ahead and just delete it from this overlay object and then you have a separate alerts only browser source in obs that you can disable with the touch of a button without having to disable all your other tickers or sub goals or anything else that you have in. One other thing I want to cover, chatbot, again, this is for stream elements, modules, and chat alerts. I'm using a different bot right now, so I don't even have that right now. Followers. This is a problem. I've had problems, not, not with hate raids, but you know, with just follower bots, stuff like that. This is mainly for follower bots. Even if you do all of these things as a click follow, guess what? Your chat is just blowing up with all these follow notifications. So it may be a hard decision for some, but I highly recommend disabling this, honestly. And then just look in your activity feed in OBS and just keep an eye on it. Just watch your activity feed and it will tell you whenever somebody follows. Honestly, followers really just want to be, when they want to be acknowledged, they would love to be acknowledged by the streamer, not a bot anyway. Of course, you still have the alert. You still have your alerts on at the time too. The alerts will help you. But you have, and you still have the button for whenever you need to disable the overlay. What we want to have is a button, one button. You don't have to stress. You just press that button whenever that's happening. And you just keep on going on about your business the way you have been because the number one thing you can do to tick these people off more than anything is just ignore them and keep on going just do what you've been doing that's what makes them mad but you want to get even just don't even acknowledge them press that button just keep on going 
hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments or other suggestions you'd like to share with people, just feel free to let them know in the comments below. You can always contact me. You find more information on all my socials at classiccaleb.pro, my Twitch schedule. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks.